All right, in this episode of Country Boy Gas Garage, we give this old bus its first wash in over 25 years. So let's go. Okay guys, we're gonna give this old bus her first bath in 25 years. Uh, first, before we get started on the pressure washing, I need to get the rest of that bathtub and structure out of the inside of that bus. Um, I started on some of that yesterday, so let me show you that footage and get you caught up to where we're at today. All right guys, let's open this door. Oh, yeah, so much rat crap in there. Yeah, there's the base of that tub. There's a propane hot water heater, it looks like. Oh, God. Now, I'm just going to cut this stuff out and remove all of this so we can get a pressure wash in there. All right, got some of that stuff tore out of there. And it is nasty in there. Got that top out. I'll show you how bad it is. So much rat crap in here. You know, but this is how the whole bus was when I started. 
Yeah, most of it. Except for this last area. Let me go inside and show you. All right, it's bad. All right, check it out. This is how bad it is. I am not gonna clean this out. I'm just gonna tear it out and get rid of all this. It is bad. But once all this structure and tub and framing is out, I'll be able to pressure wash this all out. All right, guys. Well, we got all that structure and tub and everything out of there. It was disgusting. There it is on the ground, most of it. All sawzalled up and kicked it out the back door. Uh, there is more paneling with some insulation back here that I've got to start digging out next. So on to that. Okay, so that was all yesterday. And I was able to get the rest of that insulation and paneling ripped out. And let me show you where we're at now. This is what we got left. Is to clean up all that rat crap. I'm going to go ahead and sweep it up and get it all out of here and then we're going to get the pressure washer in here. Now I did find out that we were NOS equipped. <laughs> I did find this bottle of nitrous oxide in here. So they must have been partying in this bus. Good times. Alright, on to that mess. So much rat feces. This is disgusting. some kind of disease, I you know it. Don't tell my wife I'm using a new dustpan. At least I'm not using the new broom, which she bought because I ruined the last one cleaning up rat shit. Sorry, babe. Gross. All right, it's time. Let's give her a go. Apply a little soap. I'm just gonna douse her. So, let's turn this puppy on high. Give her a try. There we go.
Okay, well, that's a bit better than it was before. Still not perfect, but we got all that rat crap out of here. Now for the outside. Now, before we get started washing, I gotta get up on top and remove all that debris. And get a ladder and a rake, climb up there and start pulling some of that off. So let's do that. All right, guys, we're gonna climb up there and start pulling on that and seeing how well that'll come off there. All right, I'm just going to work my way around. Guys, this roof was pristine up here. <laughs> There's like no rust. You still got fresh paint. Guys, the roof looks great. The paint and everything is good up there. I'm going to blast it with the pressure washer really quick and get some of that debris off there and then I'm going to show you. Let's go there and take a look. Look at that. I mean, it's dirty, but there's like no rust. It's completely solid. And there's something else I was noticing. You know, I know the, the inside of this thing is skinned aluminum. But I thought the outside was all steel. But looking up here, that's aluminum. I believe this whole roof is aluminum. And that's why it's not all rusted out. Well, let's get to pressure washing and get a closer look. Alright guys, now for the fun part, I'm going to do an initial wash down, get some of that debris off there, and then I'm going to add the soap, and then we'll systematically go and pressure wash the whole bus. So, let's go.
All right, guys, check it out. Look how good she looks. You know what I'm discovering? Is a lot of this is aluminum. That's why it's not all rusted out. Look how good it looks. Now, there is some damage right here. And this is where, on the inside, was a big old rat's nest. And that rat piss and crap just rotted through right here. And I'm sure the rats chewed on that. And they made entry. And there's also a path that goes down. And it goes uh, on top of the gas tank, which is located underneath here. And it goes all the way through. So there's that damage. But this is aluminum. I went around and checked, and the whole roof is aluminum. Now these exterior panels on the back side are steel. But as you get to the interior panels, this is aluminum. You got steel down here, steel on the fender. But this is all aluminum here. Aluminum. Rivets are metal and steel, but aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. You get down here to the base and it goes back to steel again. But this, half this bus is aluminum. She's looking good after that pressure wash. Let's see here. There was another little whammy in the back here. Let's see, here's a little whammo right there. Nothing too major. This is a plexiglass window. So something obviously broke this window and they replaced it with plexiglass. But for the most part, she's rust free. A little bit of surface rust. And she shined up almost. Of course, now I'm going to break out the soap, the hoses, and sponges, and we're going to give this thing a wash. I can't believe how much debris <laughs> came off this thing. There's just a pile of dirt around this. You have to go get the wheelbarrow and the shovel just to clean up that mess. Uh, the inside turned out a lot better, too. Yeah. I mean, look how well this door opens. All right. This bumper is pretty cool. It's a little scratched up. But it's a three piece bumper. It says Superior right there embossed into it. All right. Well, I'm going to get the family out here, and we're going to give her a bath. Here we go.
Okay guys, check her out. Guys, I am blown away. Look how good the paint still is. I cannot believe how much we were able to wash off of that thing. Well, after we washed it, I went around with a scotch bright pad. I think I washed off the patina. Look at her, she's got a shine. I cannot believe how good this paint still looks. Would you look at her? Just look at her. Amazing. Let me show you up on the roof even. Not a speck of rust up there. Like I was saying, most of this bus is aluminum. I still can't believe how nice she cleaned up and how well some of that paint is held up over all these years. Guys, I'm still in shock at how good this bus looks. I can't believe how well it turned out. Now, if anybody has any information on the old Superior bus bodies or the fact that this one was half aluminum, please leave that in the comments. I'd be interested to know some of that information. And you guys got to stick around for future videos. We've got a lot planned for this bus. Well, guys, another thing I'd like to do is get a hold of the old Safford Baptist Church and find out a little bit of history on this bus. See if they, anybody remembers it. Uh, maybe they have some old photos of the bus. Um, so we'll have to do that in upcoming videos. Uh, track down the old church. They're up in Wilsonville. And uh, see if they remember this and maybe show up there on a Sunday Mass. Well, and you guys left a lot of great comments about what we should do with this bus. And, some of them I'm right on point with you. So you're going to have to stay tuned to future video to figure out what it is we're going to do with this bus. Uh, so don't miss those videos. So make sure to like, comment, and share with your friends. And stay tuned to that next video.